Hi, welcome to the Homemade Songwriter. I'm Matt, and today we're going to talk about song seeds. This is a topic that we've discussed a lot on this channel in various videos, but I just realized the other day we don't have a dedicated video for what are song seeds and kind of a deep dive into the topic. So if this is your first encounter with this channel and this is your first time hearing about song seeds, um, number one, go check out the other videos. They're great. Number two, song seeds are um, the writing that takes place outside the writer's room. Now, what does that mean? Well, in short, Writing a song doesn't just take place when you sit down with a guitar and complete the final lyric and have a finished song. There's so much more that's part of that process that can make that time when you actually sit down to write a song easier. And the reason we want to make that process, that moment, easy or easier is because when you're sitting down to actually complete a song, you want to be able to keep as much creative momentum going as possible. So if you can give yourself a head start, take it. If you can add in a co-writer to help bounce ideas off of, do it. If you've got a pull from inspiration to help finish a, a section of the song, do it. Anything to keep you rolling from starting a song to finishing a song is something you should do. So something that we teach a lot on this channel that we want to impress upon songwriters everywhere is that you should be living your life through a songwriter's lens. And what that means is that the lens through which you view your life when you go to the grocery store, when you go to work, when you go to school, whatever it is you do, you're living and you're viewing the world through the lens of a songwriter. So think about someone like Bob Dylan, right? He's a prolific songwriter. He's written like a bazillion songs. When he goes throughout his day, he doesn't just, okay, right now I'm taking out the trash. That's what I'm doing. And then when I'm writing a song is when I sit down with my guitar. When he takes out the trash, he's probably viewing the world through metaphors of what is this trash? And is there any other trash in my life that I should be taking out? And it, his mind's just spinning on ideas and lyrics that he could be taking from those life experiences, no matter how big or how small. That's what you should be doing with your songwriting. Because how else do you translate your life and your experiences into music? People want to hear a unique perspective. They want to hear an authentic artist. And so the only way that comes is if you're writing from your own life experiences. That doesn't mean you have to write a song about, I took out the trash the other day. But if if you're viewing your life through that lens, it's going to create this practice in you of creation, where you become a collector of ideas and words and imagery. Imagery is a huge one because those everyday boring moments of your life can be snapshots that you can insert into your songs to create an environment you know, sounds, smells, tastes, experiences. All these things are details and clarity that get added to your songs to make them that much better, that much more authentic. And so the best practice for having song seeds and, and collecting them is to make a list somewhere, whether it's in a notebook or on your phone, have some kind of single area, single spot that you go to where you have all of your song ideas collected. Don't create a new note for every idea because you'll lose it, I promise. Even if it's all on your phone, you'll lose the different notes. The way I do it is I have one note on my phone called song ideas slash inspiration, and that's where all my collecting, and that's where the collection of all my ideas are. Some of them are just one word. Some of them are phrases that people have said. Some of them are song ideas uh, with nothing fleshed out. Some of them are lyrics. Some of them are song structures that I want to try out. Anything that comes to mind during my life that inspires me, I write it down here. So that's your notes. That's kind of one half of the song seed. The other half is music ideas. Because if you're anything like me, you are a songwriter. You like to write songs. Why else would you be watching this video? <laughs> And, but you don't always have time to spend two hours or something to sit down and write a song. But you still love playing your instrument. You know, it's fun to make music, even if it's not a full song. So every chance you get, every free moment you get, you pick up your guitar and you do a little strumming. Now, there was once a time when every time I picked up a guitar, I was playing a cover song, right? I was practicing the songs that I was learning. But as I've moved more to creating original songs and, and found that that's much more my passion, every time I sit down, I'm trying to write something. Sometimes it's just a chord progression, like I'm trying to write a, a compelling or an emotional chord progression, or, or I'm feeling in the mood of like a fun, quick, flat-picking bluegrass type chord progression. Sometimes it's little melodic lead lines that would go over a chord progression. And oftentimes it's a combination of chords and me kind of humming and singing just gibberish to get a vocal melody. So almost every time I sit down to play my guitar, I end up recording probably one to five you know, ideas or musical song seeds. So there's my songwriting note and it's just got a bunch of ideas and lyrics and whatnot. And I just record those ideas in the voice memos app. I think it's the quickest and easiest way. And the way I track it, you can see I've got, if it's a good idea, I put light bulbs by it. If not, it just kind of stays. <laughs> Sometimes, for example, if it's a piano idea, I put the little piano emoji so I know that it's not a guitar idea. So that system is helpful for me because I just like to create things and I like to go back and listen to them. And so adding the light bulbs to show which ones are good ideas, which ones are, you know, stuff I can kind of take or leave, that helps me. Because then when I sit down to write a song, I got both of these like wells of ideas, right? So now I'm at the point where I've got a chunk of time and I've decided I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write a song. This is where that creative momentum comes into place because if I just have a blank page in front of me, sometimes that's fine and I can just take off from there 
that's great. I love those times. But other times I sit down, like I want to write a song and then the blank page stares back at me and I just, I've got nothing, right? And then I just feel like my time, that whatever, however much it is, I just feel it ticking away and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to finish the song. But if I have these song seeds, both lyrical ideas, song ideas, and music, words and music, then I can put those together. I can sit down and I can pick one of them and say, this is the lyric idea I want to go with and this is the music idea I want to go with. And you don't even have to like combine both. You could just go off one and create new music in the moment or you could take a musical idea and, and write new words to it. But at least you have a jumping off place. And the more you do this, the more you are practicing writing in small ways. And so it's almost like a snowball effect. The more you practice creating song seeds, the easier it is to come up with song ideas. And the more you practice writing chord progressions, the easier it is to come up with new and interesting chord progressions. And then at the end of the day, the more songs you finish, the easier it is to finish songs. And all that's because you're practicing and working out that creative muscle of making something new and then finishing it. And then you rinse and repeat. So I hope this is helpful. I, I, I'd love to know if you guys use song seeds or what your process is for capturing ideas and, and taking them through to full creation. Definitely leave those in the comments. I'd love to hear your systems. And if you want some song seeds, I've got a gift for you in the, in the description. We've got two links. There's 30 songwriting prompts to jumpstart your creativity. That's literally song seeds. That's a well of, of words. Of Some of them are lyric ideas, sometimes they are title ideas. And then I've got the chord progression cheat sheet as well. Now that's um, music. So I've, both sides of the song series I've got for you. Download those and you use them, you could create 30 songs right there. So download it. I think it'll be a big help to you. And lastly, if you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments. We'd love to create videos for you that are going to help you in your songwriting journey. Uh, but that's it for this video. Keep writing. We'll see you in the next one.